Hello, hello, it's Art here, and this is the next episode of Slay the Princess. In the previous episode, I chose to free the princess, and she slayed me anyway. So yeah, uh, we'll see what's gonna happen now. I know that the roots loop around. After we make a choice, then we can see the consequences of our actions. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let me think what to do. Also, let me fix this screen. Okay. Um, I saw the mirror. It's uh, it's gonna be the same. But I'll check. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a. Okay, but it's all the stuff we saw. It was a mirror a second, but now it's gone. Pity. Okay. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Okay, but this guy, uh, we didn't see his reaction to the to the mirror. Hmm. I will not take the blame. I'm just gonna enter the basement. I will still choose the door to trust her. Creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? She killed us, right? But she still couldn't leave this place. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I think we're in love. Okay, I'm with you that we should be doing whatever we can to save her, but saying we're in love is a bit much, don't you think? We don't even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this fawning. We kinda do know her by now. I killed her, she killed me. Well, we killed each other. There was no route yet where it would be me just killing her and that's it. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. <sighs> you walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing, and she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. You've been here before, haven't you? That's right, Vin. I was. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Well, but it was the narrator that tried to control us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters... Is you have a chance to do it right this time. We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Hmm, but this time I don't have a knife, right? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I can just... So this, this time the narrator doesn't have a way to control us, to kill her. Now, hold on, if she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end. 
And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Hmm. You killed me last time, and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? No. <laughs> did we? We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. Stop she simping. Is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. It's called the voice of the smitten. It should be called voice of the s simp. That wasn't funny. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. There's no room for me to drink my tea. Maybe I can do it with my left hand. And pray that it doesn't slide down. Okay. Should be fine. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. That's not... So, did I just get reborn? What happened? But before we started talking, did, you, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? No. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. Jesus, that's, that's very dark. I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. Just being honest. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a nihilist. Mm. Um. The princess shifts in uncomfortable confusion. Me too. I don't care. Are you just saying that because I said that? She wasn't confused for long. If she doesn't care, then clearly she didn't end the world. It would take a great desire for evil to do something so inconceivable, and our dearest has not an ounce of cruelty within her. All is well, and it's high time we rescued our beloved. I'm sorry about what happened the last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. Such a sweetheart. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Ooh. Maybe. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? No, that's, that's suspicious. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Rescue the princess. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. 
Exactly, that's why I didn't take it this time. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and she does have very dainty hands. Why didn't she just do it herself? Shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's oh no, I skipped it. Sorry. But you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, fine. I mean, I guess I was trying. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Shut up. Luckily I'm not, for Mr. I'm not Lundra, doing your bidding anymore. I don't trust you a little bit. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? We we bang. What 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 do you wanna do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes. Don't say it. Please, please don't say it. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to Oof. Do? Okay. I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. I don't like this music. She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. Ooh, I'm scared. I just want to live. We can figure out the rest later. That sounds perfect. I feel like I would ask questions, it would the game would shift me to a different route. The princess takes your hand, the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. Oh, it's you, you fucker. You're the one pulling the strings here. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Yes, you did. that you won't be able to leave. Oh no, did someone lock us in here? That's not fair. We're supposed to leave now. She's right, it isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense, you just met her! Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. You're the delusional voice. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on hating the narrator, cause fuck this guy. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Um, I think we can open it if we try together. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, 
you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Blech. And the lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? It worked. I wonder if my is it, if it's because of my choice or if it would if it would open anyway. I told you our love was insurmountable. You and the princess make your way upstairs and the blade. That's right. There's still a chance for you to do the right thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. No. You're not doing You're that. Enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. Yes. I hate you. The feeling is mutual, Bunny. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And what then? And then you step outside. Okay. We're fine. See? Nothing bad. A happy ending at last. And she didn't destroy the world yet. We did it. What should we do now? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep. The narrator is gone. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy. I have princess. feathers. <laughs> what am what even am I? Oh god. And she's taken away. But you don't get the chance to make that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? It's going to be okay, just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into the reflection. I skipped. You withered. What? I'm getting worse for some reason. You find yourself in the lo long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I'm a growling chorus of contradiction, a mice of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions. Then my uh, attention can bear to hold. To look at anyone is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? 
Do you resent me? No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. What do you think of this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. It do, she's slowly getting sh getting a shape now she's almost like a person very very close to it perhaps this will change when our work is done have you figured out what you'll want when we've finished the desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves but none of them rise above their dance to influence me I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. So selfless. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? I feel like I asked this one. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. I'm ready to go back. I'm not gonna do any of those things. There's no point. I'm gonna... There's no point to fight her, I think. She's not our enemy, not this one. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, the loop starts again. You're on a path. Blah 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 blah. Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. You make your proceed to the cabin. Um I'm gonna save the game because I'm worried. Um because I forgot last time to save the game, but now I have to remember. Um <sighs> Hmm, what should I do? I'll go in under the basement. I'll see if maybe I can do something without it. Don't Hmm. I'm just gonna continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. By the way, because I, I can skip the parts that we've heard, that we heard already, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. You're only making this more difficult. 
And if there's any, if there isn't any key, do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains. Hmm. This is kind of this kind of repeats itself. I think she's gonna kill me again. Return to the bottom of the stair. I'm gonna try the door, but I've did I did this already. I'm gonna return. She does that. Okay, I remember. This time I didn't have a choice. He just made me do it. Oh no, maybe I just didn't scroll up. Fuck. Okay, without hesitation, I'll bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. Can I even kill her? It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you ready your blade to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. She's a beast. Like, this is supposed to be normal, princess. She still has her, has her claws and stuff. She's not turned into a monster Forget yet. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. I don't have a cho- I don't have a choice. This is all I got. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Um, shit. No, I, I already started this. I have to finish it. You steal your resolve and take another step closer to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What is about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation and... Honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Don't act so surprised. Can you not feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. You take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor princess able to go any further. Are you gonna die again? At the same time. And the princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both. And you watch each other fade away. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a I didn't want to do this. I'm sorry. Monster, weren't you? Silence as the room starts to get fuzzy around you. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. If you think this is it, you're sorely Well, mistaken. shit. <laughs> I messed up. Another, I'll make sure you pay for this. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay. Chapter 2, The Witch. We're gonna see her again, and she's not gonna you're be happy. On path in the woods, and at the end, you're here to slay her. But I already slew the princess. Sure, sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. 
Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. I should stop arguing with the narrator about what happened in the previous loops because she doesn't know. If he doesn't it's remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest and I'm not sure we can trust him. Opportunities again. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue, bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Okay, I know. Proceeding to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Um... Well, I guess I'll check the mirror again. You walk up to the wall next to the... What are you talking about? You reach forward and rub your it's the same, and maybe I should stop trying it. I hope you know There's no difference. Right uh, it's always the same dialogue. Uh, fine, I'll take the blade. You take the blade from the I need. I, it would be difficult to slay the princess and save. The I need a. a I, I feel like this time I need to defend myself. She's not gonna be happy to see me. There's no way for peace. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. That's not actually a bad idea. Under the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down, don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Okay, <laughs> she is a witch. She's talking like it. Um, I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little Fuck. thing. Fuck, she remembers. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thanks. No, there she is. You still locked, still steps, chained. Entering the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. Yup. That's no fair. How would she know that? So, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. 
You made a comment back in the woods about having been here before. Now she's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh, we do. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. I might. We'll see how it goes. Let's chatter up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Wait, was that? I'd like to be straightforward. No. Um. I'm sorry about last time. Smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Don't worry, the blade isn't for you, or not for killing you. We've got to get you out somehow, right? Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. No. no. The princess grins as the oh, shit. fall from her wrist. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little a woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop She her. can't live on her own. She needs me. Look, I know things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right. I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. We both died last time. Can't bygones be bygones? You were the one who stabbed me in the back when I was still in chains. A dirty little thing like you doesn't get to decide when all is fair. That's true. Well, I didn't have a choice. Maybe I did, but I just didn't scroll up. It was hidden. The choice was hidden. Don't blame me. I get the sense that you're not happy with me. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. Why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? Yes. I feel guilty. Why wouldn't worry? As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event she needs us to get out of here we'll be fine if that's what we decide to do you won't be fine because destruction is in her nature if she gets out of here that's it for the world remember 
even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. I think well, I feel, that depends I feel... on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that could happen. I feel like it will happen, especially if I give her the blade. See, he gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. But I feel like I should do it. I don't want to hurt you, but clearly there's some broken trust. Take this as a gesture of my goodwill. Give her the blade. It's stupid, and if it was a different game, I would never do that. But anything can happen, and I feel bad for stabbing her. I didn't want to do this, so here, here's the blade. You, you can't be serious. Probably don't need a blade to kill me. You're real kind of threatening. Uh, now hold on, we should put this to a vote. The blade is one of our most valuable assets. We can't just give it to her. What if she uses it to kill us? I vote no, as do I. I uh, abstain. You abstain. She's going to kill us if we give it to her. This isn't a democracy. It's a autocracy. We're giving her the blade. Give her the blade. You're going to get everyone killed. You know that, right? But of course you do. You toss the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. What do you think happens now? You're kind of hot like this. I think I like you better than a normal princess. Um, that's. Let's we'll see what options we have. This, uh, this is a bit too simpish. I don't think she's gonna... I don't think she's gonna respond nicely to that. I feel like this is the best option. We're both scared and we're both hurting. If one of us doesn't make a change, we'll probably kill each other, other, kill each other, for, uh, kill each other forever. Do you want that? I don't. We can be better than this. Her shoulders tense and her eyes dart away. This is another trick. You're trying to sow doubt. But it's not going to work on me. And then, well, shit. The blade okay, I should have, I should have called her beautiful. God damn what? it. No, no, come on, that's not right. I told you, I told you, this is what she was going to do. Glee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. <laughs> I did it. I got you. You, you. The princess seems to tremble. Her smile fading quickly placed with concern her nervous eyes brim with tears she also feels b guilty why why did you let me do this but you don't have the strength to respond nor do you have the time and i die goes dark, shit and you die hmm, chapter 3 in the thorn you're on a path in the woods I can't believe she actually stabbed us. I know. I told you not to give her the blade. I told you it would come around to I mean, I kind of expected I it. Voted against but still, it. I was hoping there's a slight chance we can just live together. Yeah, we know. You already got your I told you so's in while we were bleeding out. I need to save the game. Uh, return. I just wanted to make sure that everyone here knows that I was, and am, on the right side of that argument. Oh, you're far from being on the right side of anything. You're fixated on the past, whereas what you should be is fixated on the future. Ho oh, ho, a visionary. I like it. Tell me more. 
gladly, my dear fellow. By cruelly turning on the princess in her moment of vulnerability, we made ourselves an enemy. But by mastering our fear and insecurity and handing over our power, we've begun a journey to something so much deeper. I like journeys. Traveling is a bit of a passion of mine. It makes me so relatable. Now, where are we off to? Well, if we're lucky, it's a journey to, to love. love. She hates us. Yeah. Maybe not anymore. The, she felt guilty. And a lot of time has passed. Perhaps, um... Perhaps something changed within her. Does she? She hesitated before stabbing us to death. As ridiculous as this guy is, maybe he has a point. I don't know if I necessarily buy into his whole love journey thing, but... Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. We've already proven to her that we can change. So maybe she'll realize that things don't have to end in violence. You know, maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. Exactly. Not another try, exactly. You are aware I've been listening to you, right? It makes no difference if we conspire in the shadows or bear our intentions with open hearts. We are breaking your cruel cycle and whisking her away to freedom. Oh, are you now? Great, so you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Twice. Sure. Oh. Twice. <sighs> then I'll spare you the little introduction I had planned. You already know about the princess, and clearly you already know that she's dangerous. You don't have to so give me any introduction, you know. This isn't your first Nobody time. asked for this. I didn't ask for this. Uh, this place is different. It keeps changing. Wonderful. If the woods themselves are changing, then that's all the more reason for you to take this seriously. It would mean your grip on things is slipping, which, in turn, likely means her influence is spreading. Someone's in the know. <sighs> I've already said too much. The more information you have, the more difficult your task will be. Don't listen to her, definitely don't free her, and if you can, don't even think about her. You don't have to worry about me. My head's always empty. <sighs> Except the thoughts of her. Um, we're on... We're even now. I'm sure she understands that, but... We can see what she has to say for herself when we get to the cabin. Yes. Good. Playing both sides. That's what smart people do, and you're the smartest in the room. Thank you, opportunist. I'm not sure it counts as playing both sides if people can hear you doing it. Buddy, you're thinking in far too few dimensions. There's layers to doing this right, and I'm pretty sure the one making the choices gets that. Trust in the plan. Trust in what plan? My plan. The decider's plan. Sure, we don't know what the plan is yet, but that's part of the whole trusting thing, isn't it? A good leader knows how and when to keep things secret. And sometimes a good leader even knows to keep things secret from himself. Maybe I am keeping some things for myself. There isn't a plan, and that's the whole point. We're supposed to be guided by emotion. We're supposed to passionately live in the moment, and I'm sure that when the time comes, those passions will tell us to set our darling princess free. If I were you, I'd remember what she's done. You know how dangerous she is. And you should know that someone like her shouldn't be let loose upon the world. You sure seem to be taking the whole looping thing in stride. What do you want me to say? It's bad that you've been here before. It's bad for you, it's bad for me, and it's especially bad for the world. The more times you run through this, the more likely it is that you'll fail. You've already failed twice. So you knew this could happen? Theoretically, sure, I knew this could happen, but I was supposed to be the first. I'd really rather not get into it. I don't care about where we came from, and I don't care to discuss the theory of anything. I yearn only to bring her freedom. I'm here to feel, not to think. Then we can all move on and forget what I said about failure. It's important that you believe in yourself, and the fact you're here probably means that you still have a chance to pull this off and save the world. My world, at least. What about my world? It sounds like you've probably doomed a couple of others already. Why? Why? Wh 
Why do I feel like I'm not getting anything out of it? It's just... I always have I always have to sacrifice myself. There is no way for me to get out of this alive and happy. I need to stop talking. Think happy thoughts. No matter what happens next, uh, it seems like all our answers are in the cabin. Let's see this through. Proceed to the cabin. It isn't long before you find yourself at the base of the cabin. I think it's clear where everyone stands at this point. I don't know if I'd say everyone. Are you talking about me? I have a position. It's a good one too. Ignore him, he's just talking for talking's sake. My position is the only one that matters. You know what you have to do. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is hardly an interior of She's not here anymore. The burned out ruins merely suggest the shape of the structure that once stood here, charred wood still reeking of ash. But beneath it lies the fresh smell of spring growth after rain, the promise of new life in the wreckage of the old. The only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table, a pristine... Wait, this isn't right? This is supposed to be a pristine blade? Why isn't there a pristine blade? We... we gave it to her last time. She can't still have it, can she? Well, it's not here. And if she has it... Let me guess, you want to get all chummy with her. Look, as far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side <laughs> with the one who has the weapon. Your mindset voices. Just a smart thing to do. Your mindset voices, how can you just betray me? I wouldn't be so hasty. I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere. She can't have it. That's not how this is supposed to work. What if, in this reality, this path she killed herself because she couldn't handle the guilt if she does have it that's all the more reason to put our faith in her we have already shown her our heart now she has to show us hers unless her heart tells her to stab us which doesn't seem unlikely so yes i agree let's make sure we get on her good side how do we even get down there uh... They're gonna be like, oh, there's no mirror. Okay, I'm just gonna approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. You know what you have to do. Wipe away the grit from the mirror and behold our handsome features. It went away when we touched it last time. Wipe the mirror clean. Reach forward and God damn your it. hand through the hollow entrance leading to the basement. What are you doing? Alas, our fine features remain unseen. We'll just have to trust that she'll find us beautiful as we are. Well, seems like the only way to go is forward, isn't it? Yes, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about There is nothing forward, these are just vines. Oh, there's a basement, okay, under the basement. You step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. The stairs to the basement are covered in a fine layer of gritty ash. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished. Yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot-covered earth of the walls around you. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease, at least on the way down. But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. That's a matter for after the world's been saved. These thorns are an expression of her pain, I know it. She's calling out for help. Her voice, worn down by pain and suspicion. Okay. Up the stairs. She's alive still. That's good to know. I can't get away from you, can I? We kill each other and you come back. You let me kill you and you come back. Yeah, that's how it goes. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. I just want to talk, really talk. I think you know how this goes. I'm down here and I can't leave. So, come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. Proceed down the stairs. You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. 
You step out into what was once Aww. a vast open cavern, now overrun by briars and prickles and thistles, the space thick with hostile vegetation. At the heart of it all, encased in a tight weave of vines, is the princess, her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. What did she do? Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? She was cutting herself, but she's trying to kill herself too. I'm not here to laugh, I'm here to free you, if you let me. I... I want to trust you. Her grip tightens on the blade. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Why would you help me if you weren't helping yourself? You're not the only one who yearns, who yearns for freedom. I'm as trapped as you are. I think we need to live together. The princess clutches the blade closer to her chest. That sounds nice. I'm so tired of the bad blood between us. But it's hard to let it go. You've hurt me. I know, and I'm sorry for it. Her eyes dart away from yours for a brief moment. And I've also hurt you. Is there nothing I can say to change your mind? I... I don't know. What can either of us really say at this point? How can we trust something as hollow as words? She's right. There's nothing left to say. So let's get a move on and do something before she comes up with a scheme to get out of here on her own. She we can't. Need words to send she can't message. leave her on her own. It is through action that we can show her our adoration, our devotion, our kindness. Can I take the blade now? Her eyes briefly meet yours, then dart back to the floor. She hangs her head in resignation. Okay. Reach for the blade. You reach towards her bloodied hands, laying your palm on her trembling fingers. For a moment, she clutches it even tighter, her knuckles going white with the effort. But then the tension fades. Her grip finally loosens and she allows you to take the weapon. You carefully pull it free from the thorns that they scrape at your skin, leaving red trickles of fresh blood all along your arms. She trusts us. She trusts us. Doesn't that set your heart a flutter? Yeah, a little. It could just be nerves. Being this close to her does bring back unpleasant memories, but I don't know. It doesn't feel bad. It feels good. Like we're special to her. We are special to have gained an ounce of trust from a maiden so guarded. Now all that remains is to free her from her bindings. Is it gonna be so as easy as to just cut those free? Yeah, let's do it. Let's show her how much both of us have changed. Or hear me out. No, we we're her. we're past right this here. opportunities. Right Stop it. So we we've long, we're long that, past this. Man, that sounds like a splendid idea. You should listen to him. No, shut up. I see that the lines have been drawn. I'm the only one that decides. It's two against one. It's two against two. You don't count. Uh, and why shouldn't he count? Because he's clearly not one of us. That doesn't matter. He's been with us the whole time. He should get a say. So, did you mean it? Or was I a fool to hand my life to you? Cut her free. Yes, what a good idea. Let's cut her free. You're you're like a flag. You just w wave 
whatever direction the wind is blowing. Oh, so you're suddenly team free her. You can't just switch sides as soon as we make a decision. I can do whatever I want, and I believe with my whole heart that this is the right course of action. Let's free this princess. Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. Let him join us and be merry. We are all united by our passion. That's right. What he said. We've already given him a chance of redemption. And who says I don't deserve another? I really mean it this time. I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong. So I want to help you all free her. And I have no problem with that. Welcome to the team. <laughs> You're one of us now. One of the good guys. You take the blade to the thorny vines imprisoning the princess and she flinches. Relaxing only slightly as the blade slices into the thick vegetation rather than her arm. And she flinches again as the last of the vines is cut away, as if, after all of that, she's still expecting you to turn on her and stab her in the heart. But you're not going to do that, are you? Still, all it would take is a I'm not doing that. Blade. Such a pathetic attempt at distraction and subterfuge. Our blade is a dashing sword, and every dashing sword is an extension of its hero. It won't slip. You're right. He can't even make it slip, can he? He's a bit of a nobody. Good thing I've been on your side of all this since the beginning. What the fucker? <laughs> the princess falls into your arms, tears streaking down her cheeks. I can't believe you're making me describe this. I hate you. I'll make you describe something worse. You actually meant it. You rescued me. Do you see the way she's looking at us? Kiss her. Kiss her now before the moment ends. May I? I can. I'll do it. Can we actually do that? No, you can't. Absolutely yes, I can. Not. Do it. You know as well as I do that we can. And we wouldn't want to throw away a chance for a special moment now, would we? If I were only capable of throwing myself off a bridge. Do it. Well, are you going to describe our steamy romantic kiss <sighs> you lean in and you kiss her Aww. And, and she reciprocates enthusiastically you kiss it's done are you happy now that's sweet come on now this is the big moment you can do better than that Ugh, fine you and the princess lock eyes and stare deep into each other's souls with all the roaring emotion that comes from letting what once was hatred turn into pure, unbridled passion. Are you making fun of us? And then, each of you close your eyes and kiss. Words can describe neither the nuclear fire nor the oceanic depth of your connection. Please. I think he actually likes romance. I like how this route is far more romantic than the previous one. What are we just like, we're trying to save her from the start. This is more deep, more, there's more feelings between the protagonist and her. If history itself were not about to end, historians would document this moment for the rest of time. Musicians would write era-defining ballads and great artists would expend entire lifetimes trying to merely capture the spark you hold right now. He's making fun of us. It doesn't matter either way, because this is good stuff. I'm aware of my skills. But unfortunately for you, the moment doesn't last forever. You open your eyes, the princess smiles gently up at you. Time for you to damn the whole world to oblivion, I suppose. Doesn't matter anymore. <sighs> that was nice. Her hand slips into yours, and the two of you rush to the basement stairs. Shameful, really, that the same thorns that so graciously allowed you downstairs are now blocking your only way out. Please, after all the trials we've been through, do you really think a few measly thorns can stop us? Love is an even more powerful weapon than our blade. We cut through those other vines just fine, they're only thorns. I'm not afraid of getting a few scrapes. I'm not even sure we need to do any cutting, we can just move them out of the way. What a pathetic showing, really. A few pointy sticks can't keep us down here. We're both meant for so much more than this. Um. Cut into the thorns. 
as you swing your blade into the thorns covering the basement stairs, they... Why would they just walk into them? Both you and the princess ascend the stairs without obstacle. This is unacceptable. The second you step out of this cabin with her, the world ends. Do you hear me? What did the world ever do to you to deserve this? Your nightmare is our dream. Whatever world would condemn star-crossed lovers like us to a cycle of violence and despair isn't a world... In the previous route, she, the world kind of still did end. But it wasn't because of her. It just did. We'll weave something new together. Something better. You and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last chance. We've already made our decision. We're finally leaving here together, aren't we? And all we had to do was trust each other. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we finally could. Step into your freedom. Hands clasped, the two of you open the door and step out into a new day. You irredeemable murderers. Worth it. What do we do now? Where is everything going? Why and it happens so again. Damn it. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? If they think it's bad, I'm with them. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You're unraveled. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed into the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? I don't. There are trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one yearns for connection she feels she doesn't deserve. Aww. Even when shown compassion, she hid herself away. A cautious she heart. For a cautious heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think we are real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. Uh, when you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but... One of them is something else, I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No, their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond?
he does, and when I find him, you and I are gonna finally gonna have t some answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. How many more vessels do we need to bring you? One. Okay. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. Hmm. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. Aww. Wait. I will see you when you return. Oh god damn it. I'm gonna die anyway, won't I? What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side, until you're ready to return to mine. Oh! The game just crashed, I think. I didn't save it. Fuck! Okay, shit. I'm gonna have to stop here. Uh, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I didn't expect it to be so romantic, but it is. I love it, to be honest. It's, it's, I like the story a lot. It keeps me really engaged. And yeah, I guess the next episode is gonna be the last one. And then we'll see what we're gonna do with all the other endings, all the other paths. But for now, it's gonna be all. Bye, guys. And, um, see you later.